what's going on y'all kiki soto here urban girl gardening and lifestyle welcome back welcome back welcome back it is extremely windy today um i have originally planned to film a video building my walk-in greenhouse that was gifted to me but between sky's mouth and the wind it's just not going to happen so instead of building another greenhouse today because it's too damn windy we're gonna work on this green stalk. In my last video, I told you guys, I told you guys I was gonna be planting more of my winter sown veggies in my green stalks. I have three of them. This one here, um, I have the leaf planter that I use for herbs and lettuces, radishes, stuff like that. And then I have another one that's still in a box that I have not used at all. But anyway, so we're gonna take this apart layer by layer. We are going to just make some amendments to the soil and we're going to get some more veggies and some flowers in there too Mommy. yes that's what we're going to do all right now the rest of this video is going to be a voiceover because like i said it's really windy and i'm hoping that i don't even like knock the camera over um the wind doesn't knock the camera over with the tripod but we gonna make it do what it do baby we always do see y'all soon Okay, so we need to amend the soil in this green stalk. You guys just saw me move each layer um, piece by piece or section by section rather from one side of the yard to the other. Well, not really that far, but I had to move it. These green stalks do come with the wheelie movable part that you can just slide it around in, but the way my bank account was set up at the time, um, yeah, I didn't get all the bells and whistles. I got the part that I needed. <laughs> the part to plant it and it wasn't that bad anyway um so yeah we're amending the soil and of course i have my sweet girl sky pie she's out here with me anytime i'm in the garden she's right there with me and i hope you guys have your kids out there learning too so i'm adding my npk um well i'm adding my granulated fertilizer and the npk of it nitrogen phosphorus and potassium is 12 0 12 it's the same granulated fertilizer that i used with the grow bags in my last video um the n the nitrogen is 12 that's for leafy growth the phosphorus is zero phosphorus is for root development and this has no um phosphorus in it because it's typically used for in-ground gardening and in-ground soil usually already has phosphorus in it um, so the K, which is the potassium, is also 12, and the potassium is just to make sure that you have good flower development so you get nice juicy fruit, and it helps with, um, with the water intake and stuff like that as well. So now I am adding the bone meal, and that's the phosphorus that we need for the root development. It's a little windy, so I just made sure that I added it very close and that I made sure... Um, it didn't blow in little sky pie's direction and look at her she is over there still working y'all she is like look look at my baby you go girl <laughs> so while she's still adding i'm just like i'm in awe of watching her i just love her so much hey pie hey pie thumbs up <laughs> doing a good job so now we're just going to go ahead and mix all our fertilizers into the soil um, pretty well. And <laughs> the Sky Pie, she was looking for a hand rake so that she could help me and she wanted mine. But I had to show her real quick how to use the spade to mix everything in the same way that I am. And you could just, just, just look at it go. She's doing a, a really, really great job. You know, one of the things that I really love about this green stalk is the availability of space to grow. So this green stalk has five tiers and each tier has six um, growing spaces in it. That's 30 plants that I can grow in each of those spaces. And that's just if I'm growing like a single plant in each one. Now, if I was doing like radishes or carrots, or I've seen people grow potatoes in these, um, you could really like go in. And no green stalk is not paying me, y'all. Only thing they paying me is no mine. <laughs> So 
So we're just going to water in this soil and those fertilizers really well, get the soil nice and moist before we move on to planting up some of our winter sown flowers and veggies. So just to show you guys real quick what I'm going to be planting up, this was a flower mix. There's some purple poppies in there and there's a um, wildflower mix. So I have no idea what some of those flowers are, but they're going to be planted. Um, we're also going to be planting up some purple, I want to say broccoli that is, or purple cauliflower. Not sure. I think this one is the purple broccoli. But look, look how much these things are growing in these winter sewing containers. And then that is some um, feathered frills kale that looks like it needs some water, but we'll take care of that. And then there's a few other things. I think I, I went and got some endive. I also went and got a few things from the mini greenhouse. But for now, we're just gonna put these together. And of course, my little pie, I had to give her a job. So as I'm stacking each layer, um, there is a reservoir that goes between each layer of the green stalk and it collects the water to distribute through the other layers. And the green stalks snap in like there's little feet that snap in on each layer. And it's really, really simple to put together, guys. So now I'm starting with the flowers. That is one of the poppies, the purple poppies. And I'm just gonna sporadically plant stuff. Like there's gonna be some flowers in certain areas. There's gonna be broccoli in certain areas. There's gonna be kale in certain areas. There's gonna be cauliflower in certain areas. I'm just, just putting stuff all around in each section. <laughs> and what's amazing is I have planted so much broccoli and cauliflower and kale. I think I don't think I've ever grown this much at one time before. Like these green stalks are really a lifesaver and I am plotting on buying at least two more cuz I mean, you're getting 30 plus planting spaces depending on which one you purchase and you can grow full-size plants and I've seen people grow cucumbers. I've seen people grow peppers, tomatoes, like the possibilities are endless. So I will definitely be purchasing more, especially if you have limited space. Like if you have a balcony or something like that, you definitely should think about getting um, some kind of stack stackable containers. All right, guys, we planted up every single pocket in this green stalk, I am so happy. So this green stalk gives 30 spaces. I put in some of my wildflowers. We got broccoli. Um, gosh, I even went over to the mini greenhouse and grabbed a few things. And look, we have all these seedlings left. So whatever I don't use, I'm just going to donate to the schools and yeah, we're going to water this in from the top here. The water's going to go all the way down and we'll be done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We had a lot of fun planting, right, Pi? Yeah. We did a lot of planting <laughs> and you did a good job. We'll see you guys later. Learn with me, grow with me. I love y'all. For real. Bye. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweet girl.